Hi, this is Brad Powers in the pregame.com studios right off the Las Vegas Strip, and it's my favorite time of the year, guys. And we're previewing the 2019 college football season, and I got a season win total that I absolutely love coming your way here. And let's not beat around the bush. Let's get right to it. I'm going to the Big Ten, and we're going to go over seven and a half wins for a Michigan State team that I think is being totally overlooked in the marketplace. Let's talk about this Michigan State team that returned 17 starters from a team. I get it, only won seven games a year ago. Disappointing season. But why was that season disappointing for Michigan State last year? I'll point to one thing. How about injuries for Michigan State? A Michigan State team last year in 2018 devastated by injuries. Michigan State lost 55 starts to injury a year ago. That's basically like saying, hey, take four or five starters. We're going to put them out for the season. Basically, you're going to play this season with one arm tied behind your back. And let's talk about one of those injuries at the quarterback spot. Brian Lewerke, expectations high for him last year. He's a quarterback for Michigan State. First six games of the season, he's fine. He's complete 60% of his passes. Last seven games, after he suffers a shoulder injury, he only completes 43% of his passes. I expect Lewerke to be healthy. He looked healthy in the spring. Healthy quarterback equals more production from that offense. Let's go over the defensive side of the ball. Michigan State last year, one of the best defenses in the country. This year, all four starters back from a defensive line that was number one in the country last year in rush defense. All those guys are back. So Michigan State's got one of the best defensive fronts in all of college football. Back over to the offense, offensive line, something that tends to get overlooked when it comes to preseason evaluations on teams. All five starters are back on a Michigan State offensive line, 100-plus career starts. This is a much-improved team, definitely on offense. They're just as good as what they were a year ago on defense. All right, let's get into the schedule here. And I got seven games this upcoming season where Michigan State's going to be at least, at least, if not a double-digit favorite in these seven games, at least a touchdown favorite. We're talking Tulsa, Western Michigan, Arizona State, those games at home where they pull three of the weakest teams in the Big Ten in Indiana, Rutgers, Maryland, all those games for Michigan State, they're going to be at least a touchdown favorite. But you know what? For, for purposes here, let's say they lose one of those seven games, even though they're going to be a significant favorite in those. I got six wins now in our back pocket here. Let's go to the remaining five games for Michigan State. A couple of toss-up games, I would say, and that's giving the benefit of the doubt to their opponents because right now against Penn State and Northwestern, Michigan State is favored in Las Vegas, in those games, you can bet those games as far as the game of the year lines. But let's say those are toss-ups. Let get let's say Michigan State split those. Okay, six plus one. Okay, we're to seven wins. Keep in mind, we're going over seven and a half here. Now the final three games, the three toughest games on Michigan State's schedule this year: at Wisconsin, at Ohio State, at Michigan. Clearly, Michigan State will be an underdog in all three of those games. But Michigan State, one of the best underdog teams in the entire country last eight years michigan state's 14 and 15 as an underdog that's not against the spread guys that is straight up basically michigan state in nearly a decade has won half their games when they've been an underdog so let's say they pull one of those three upsets there you go All right, so let's get into the pick again we're going over the total here michigan state over seven and a half wins. I think this is a top 15 team in the country that's getting overlooked because they're in the same division as Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State. Over seven and a half wins for the Michigan State Spartans. And we'll have more videos and more previews at pregame.com.